Thank you for your consideration of this think tech commentary, Ukraine in the second year. America is rightfully distracted by domestic issues like abortion, voting rights, civil rights, gender rights, gun control, and the auto erosion of our democracy. These things distract us from dealing with other, arguably even more troubling things like the national debt, climate change, and global security. We're working our way into the second year of Putin's invasion. He's even more evil, more grotesque this year than he was last year, and has even less compunction about murdering families while they sleep. Is our support of Ukraine adequate? Are we giving them the weapons necessary to resist? The message coming out of Ukraine is that they don't have what they need for the spring offensives coming soon. People seem to have softened on defending Ukraine. Joe Biden is more focused on the domestic issues, and the Republicans seem increasingly isolationist in Congress and in their campaigns. People in this country have grown weary and disinterested, just as Putin prefers. We don't seem as outraged about his war crimes as we were before. We don't worry as much about the long-term effects of his invasion as we did before. Are we still the moral leader, as we were in the greatest generation, or do we not care about it so much anymore? Are we still the force that will constrain outrageous aggression and atrocity? And if we don't care so much anymore, who will? Many people here in Europe and elsewhere feel that it's somebody else's war and won't affect them. But that's not true. It's already having a multifaceted global effect. The tragedy in plain sight is that the world is slipping away from the defense of Ukraine and what Putin's invasion means for the future. In the end, we will all be affected by what happens. Now is the time to recognize that.